from Los Angeles, California, weighing 141 and one quarter pounds in the red trunks, Monroe Brooks, Brooks. And in the blue corner from New York, New York, former world champion, weighing 142 and one half pounds in the blue trunks, Sal Mummy, Mummy. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for this part will be Cleveland's own Jackie Keogh. Ten rounds, super lightweight, Sal Mambi in the blue trunks and Monroe Brooks in the red. Both fighters at the crossroads. Monroe Brooks says if he loses this fight, he's gonna quit boxing forever. Mambi did not commit himself. He's not looking or not even thinking about losing. He's thinking about just tonight, he wants to win. And if he does win, he wants another shot at his old title, the super lightweight title. And he will challenge Leroy Haley if he does it. If Haley is successful tonight against Giovanni Giuseppe Jimenez, that is. Mammy just learned, landed a good one-two right hand on Monroe Brooks. And let me tell you something, John. These guys really want this fight. These guys have been at, at the, at, after each other for a long time. They're finally getting it. That's what Brooks said. Brooks said that yesterday afternoon. I had a little chat with him, and he said that uh, he's been after Mammy for a long time. He's finally getting him, thanks to Don King. Our referee, by the way, is Jackie Keogh, former boxer. I remember Jackie Keogh when he fought uh, Randy Turpin. That's before your time, Larry. Way before my time, John. <laughs> Johnny, Mammy, saw Mammy is a, a veteran fighter, and uh, I've, I've watched Mammy fight a long time, and he's very cagey, and uh, Monroe Brooks is in a fight tonight, and uh, you can't sell Monroe Brooks out because I've seen him fight, and he, he puts it together too, John. Monroe Brooks, 29 years old, from Inglewood, California, a native of Fort Worth, Texas. A record of 47 wins. He's got six losses, four draws. He's knocked out 33 of the men he has beaten. So Mambi is 35 years old. He comes from the Bronx in New York City. He's 132. He's lost 13. He has five draws, and he's knocked out 14. So the knockout puncher up there, Larry, at least according to the record, is Monroe Brooks with 33 out of 47. Yes, he is. He's a much better puncher than Saul Mammy, but Mammy can go to distance, and this is one I, I have watched Mammy over the years. He, he can't survive. And this is a, a boxer against the puncher. The puncher is Brooks, and the boxer is Mammy. Mammy. Ooh, good right hand, John by Mammy. He landed the left just before that, too, Larry. Yes, he did. Mammy's is starting to put his punches together, John, and uh, this is something I haven't seen him do in a while. He's going 10 rounds tonight. It's been a long time since he's gone 10 rounds. He's been fighting 15 round fights. He had six defenses of his title before he lost it, and they were all 15 round bouts. So he has to change his pace, I guess, doesn't he, Larry? Yes, he did, John. He had to come out here a little faster and uh, work this guy's style because uh, the fight is not going to go 15 rounds. So he got to get it all in in 10 rounds or less. Does that bother you mentally? Well, it bothered him mentally because he's not champion anymore, and he wants to try to redeem himself and uh, get back on the right track. I know he wants that shot at Leroy Haley, and he's going to go after it. To travel. Okay, here we go with round two of a 10-round bout. Saul Mambi in the blue, Monroe Brooks in the red. Mambi has fought in 18 countries. He's the real carpetbagger of boxing. John, one thing I've never seen this old mammy do is come out here and start early. He came out in that first round and really started the fight. He's landing good punches going into the second round. Well, he used to pace himself. He said this, uh, Larry, in the, in the chat we had with him. He said that he used to pace himself in 15-round bouts. He'd take his time the first three, four rounds and uh, try to work out a blueprint for himself. But now, with the 10-round distance, that's what I meant before. He's got to fight a different kind of a pace. His mammy is a good fighter. He's a... Uh, a veteran, and he's been out there. He fought Durant. He fought everybody, and uh, 
<laughs> He's in a fight tonight because this guy, Monroe Brooks, don't like him. Both of them fought real world-class fighters all the way down the line, and they proved they're good fighters because neither Monroe nor Ooh, good point to me. It's hard to say neither Monroe Brooks or Saul Mamby have any marks on them, and that's yeah. hard to Saul Mamby is really throwing punches, John. He's landing good punches. He hurt Monroe Brooks, and, and they're landing good jabs. And This is something I haven't seen in Mamby in a long time. He really really wants to just land another beautiful hard right hand on Monroe Brooks. Now watch what he does after he lands the punch. He gets out of danger. He gets out of range of any punch that Brooks might be thinking about throwing. He's doing a good boxing job, and he's dropping that right hand. He's getting good combinations across. No knockdown. He was off balance. What Saul Mammy got Monroe Brooks now is reaching and lunging because he's landing good punches and Monroe Brooks don't like that. He's trying to get it back, John. Brooks is off stride, Larry. He's off stride. He's, uh, he's not used to the ring yet, as they say. Saul Mammy is a very good fighter. He's a cagey fighter. He smothers a lot of punches that it looks like they land and don't really land. He's a real veteran, John. He's a classic boxer. Sal Mamby Ford, Roberto Duran for $3,000, Larry. Yeah, that's when time was hard, John. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's, about, that's very little money for fighting Roberto Duran. Tell but me. he got a big payday when he fought the uh, Obesia and Wang Pa. He got $270,000 for that one. You have a fight coming up. You're going to get a lot more money for it. We'll talk about that a little later, maybe, Larry. Aren't you glad you were born when you were born? Yes, Johnny. I, <laughs> wind change nothing. These guys here, Johnny, is really fighting. Saul Mammy really showing a lot of determination that he won his title back. And Monroe Brooks trying to keep him from getting that. These guys are really going at it. All right. See if he can get a return shot. And Leroy Haley said he's not against giving him a return shot. The money is right. This money will dictate everything. We're going to take another look at some of the action in that last round. Mammy throws a right hand, lands right there, John, and knocks uh, Monroe Brooks off balance. And uh, it was a good right hand. He really hurt him that time. See how foul Mammy gets under those punches, yep. John, and yep. ties him up. Very smart. As I said, he's a classic boxer. He knows his trade very well. A look at him. All the fights he's had, not a mark on him. Very intelligent young man, too, Larry. You see, they, you speak about many subjects besides boxing, world subjects. Yeah. He's a sports fan. There's Monroe Brooks in his corner. A little concerned, I would say. Okay, we're in round three. Monroe Brooks in the red and Saul Mambi in the blue. Referee Jackie Keogh. John Condon and Larry Holmes, the heavyweight champion of the world at ringside in Public Hall in Cleveland, Ohio. Saul Mambi is smothering a lot of punches. Man, a good right hand that time. He, he smothered a lot of Monroe Brooks' punches. And he really fighting like he really want that title back, John. Yes, he did. He is. He's fighting a smart fight, too, Larry. He's not gambling with uh, Brooks. He gets his licks in there, and he backs off and takes a look. That's right, John. You know, all the years that I've known Saul Mamby, I've never seen him fight like this today. He really wants that title back. You're right. He's more aggressive now than I have ever seen him, and I've seen him in a lot of his fights. Left hook by him. Showing a lot of confidence, John, and sometimes that can pay a part, though, you know, but you cannot ever overconfidence yourself in the ring. Well, I don't think, I don't think he'll get careless. He's not that type of fighter. He has respect for his opponents. He's got to have some respect for Monroe Brooks. Knocked out 33 of the 47 men he has beaten. He's only lost six bouts in his career. Mammy's landing a good, another good right hand and a left hook, John, on Monroe. Another good right hand. Another good right hand on him. He's really fighting, John. Whole series good of combination punches of punches by Mammy. No, Brooks laid off last year, Larry. He didn't fight in 1981. He's only had two fights this year, and he's lost one of them. So that layoff last year might be affecting him. No, John, I've seen him fight in uh, Texas before I fought Cooney, and he really looked good, but he didn't win the fight, but he really looked good. He's a game fighter. 
He lost to uh, Ronnie Shields. Ronnie Shields. But right previous to that, he decisioned uh, Danny Favela in a 10 round bout. But he was off that whole year, and a year out of a fighter's life's a long time, Larry. Yeah. Look, Monroe felt that he wasn't getting the breaks that he deserved, and uh, he, de he decided to take a rest and then come back. I asked him about that yesterday, and he said he's back, and thank God for Don King, and that's why I'm back. Don do give a lot of fighters an opportunity to score. He gave Leroy Haley the opportunity to take a, the title away from Saul Mammy. He's given Monroe Brooks the opportunity not to give Saul Mammy that opportunity to get back in there with Leroy Haley. Yeah, Mammy lost his last fight to Haley, and here he is back in the ring and just on the brink of another title shot if he wins this one. John, we have a good fight right here tonight, right here in Cleveland Arena. And uh, you're seeing an old guy trying to come back and be young again. <laughs> <laughs> We're in round four. Zawa Mambi in the blue trunks, Monroe Brooks in the red. Brooks, after a year's layoff in 1981, has had two fights this year, won one and lost one, and here he is trying to beat Saul Mambi, who lost his title to Leroy Haley, he wants another shot at Haley. If he wins tonight, he's got a pretty good chance of getting it. Saul Mammy is beating to the beating Monroe Brooks to the to the jab. He's out boxing him, circling side to side. He's doing what he gotta do, John, to win the fight. Feigning him and sticking the jab in there. Right hand, left hook like that. Got out a little trouble and Brooks didn't follow it up. Mamby missed the punch, lowered his head. He didn't see Brooks where Brooks was at all, but Brooks didn't take advantage of it. Mamby is a very awkward dog fighter, too, uh, John. He's not one of those tight fighters that stay there. You throw punches at him, he ducks under him. You throw him, he blocks him, comes back with his own. So he's a very difficult fighter. Good left hook by Mamby that knocked him off balance. Shook him up with it, Larry. Yes, he did, John. Oh, man, is really boxing good, Johnny. Yes, he is. He's the best. This is the best fight I've ever seen him fight from a from a pure technical standpoint. <laughs> Monroe Brooks is very strong, Johnny. Takes some good punches from Mammy, and he keeps coming back. Mammy, the rap on Mammy uh, by some of the boxing people around the country is that he was a dull fighter. At least for five or six rounds, he didn't do anything, but he's certainly not dealt with Good right hand by Mamby. Pleasure to watch. A solid right hand by Mamby. Mamby got him hurt, John. Just hit him with a left hook. Another left hook. And they say Mamby is dull. He's not dull tonight, Johnny. That's what I said. Certainly not tonight. And he's still doing the smart thing, Larry. He's yes. getting those punches across, and he's not gambling. Getting them in, he's taking his time, he's fighting a real methodical fight. Yes, he is, John. He's really putting on the show here tonight. <laughs> so he, gets under, he gets under the right hands, John. He's just taking it easy right now. To set him up for another punch. He's reading Monroe Brooks very well. He's stung Brooks a number of times. He's outboxed him. He's outclassed him all the way. Brooks is now desperate. Brooks, Brooks is trying to get across some kind of a knockout punch. Either hand. He's throwing both hands. Manby has been able to avoid them. Brooks hasn't come close. Brooks is always dangerous, though. He's got that heavy punch. Mammy can take a very good shot. If he can go the distance with Roberta Duran, I don't feel that anybody's just gonna walk out there and knock him out. Right. And say nothing to Bruce Curry and Good right hand. He's hurt. John, he's hurt. Monroe is hurt. He stopped him in his tracks with that right hand. Yes, he, he just did. stood there with both feet planted on the ground and he dropped his hands. He stopped him dead in his tracks with that punch. He's hurt. He's hurt, John. Mammy got him hurt, John. Right here over Bubba's right now. 
But Monroe's still strong. He can be, he's still he tried be dangerous. To, I'm sorry, Larry. He tried to suck a man into a punch that time. He stood in the corner and made out like that he was hurt a lot more than he was. Manby went for it. He came at him, but Brooks did not get the punch across. That's right. Monroe hit uh, Manby with two low blows, Johnny, that the referee didn't see that time. Manby is fighting a real good fight, John. He's, he, may, he impresses me today. He can't stand still, Larry. He's got to move. He's got to do what he did in the early rounds. He's got to move yes. around. Can't yes, stand and slug it out. He's really tailing Monroe Brooks now with both hands, the left hand and the right hand. Both are scoring. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, Larry, Brooks is tired. Yes, he is. I mean, taking the punches that he's taking tonight, I guess that do have some kind of effect on you. But he's still dangerous because I've seen him fight like this for 10 rounds very hard. Mamie's on the outside, Johnny boxing again, sticking the jab, tying him up when he comes in. And he's trying to set him up again with another one-two punch. He's giving uh, Brooks a boxing lesson, Larry. Yes, he is. He's not a big puncher. He's only got 14 knockouts on his record. 14 win knockouts and 32 wins. But he's, he's landing with both hands, and he's stinging Brooks with both hands. Yes, he is, John. Mamie's sticking the jab, and he's stepping to the to the right to throw the right hand and Brooks don't know where he's at. We're in round six. Sal Mamby in blue, Monroe Brooks in red, scheduled for 10 rounds. Mamby doing a masterful job of boxing and he's been catching Brooks with both hands, stinging him. He said he want that title back, John, and he's fighting like he really wanted tonight. He's throwing good punches, combinations. He's got to keep moving, though, Larry. He can't stand still. He's in excellent physical shape. He always is. He never stops training, Salamambi. He's always in good shape. So he can do what he wants to do. His body and his mind are together. Yes, it is. Mamie just standing on the outside now. John sticking that jab. He's looking for that right hand. Like there's the right hand high on the head though, John. Just you should just keep flicking that jab the way he's doing it right now. I think Mamie wants to knock this guy out because the way these guys been going at each other over the years, I think they build up some animosity between each other. You think they dislike each other? Yes, they do. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good one, too, by Saul Mamby. Mamby's punches are not that hard. They're, they're fairly soft punches. They hurt, but they're not real one-punch knockout punches. Good right here. Good right counter with a left jab following. He's hit Monroe Brooks with a succession of lefts and rights. He staggered him a number of Another times. good right here. Monroe Brooks did not fear Mamie's punches, John. He was just walking to him, just taking the punches. But he can't, he can't continue to take punches. I don't care how hard Mamie hits. Mamie used to going the 15-round distance, so he can pace himself accordingly. Mamie's teeing off again, Johnny, with combination, left hook and right hand. And Brooks is just standing there and taking him. Yes, he is. If Mamie was a harder hitter, Brooks would have been out of there a long time ago. Yes, he would. Again, I must express myself, this is the first time that I've seen Mamby come out fighting as hard as he's doing. Good left jab, another good left jab. He looks like a guy on the way up tonight, Larry, rather than a guy who's already been there, holding yeah. the title. Fought all over the world, fought in 18 different countries, fought the other guy's backyard throughout his whole career, and came back a winner in most cases. If Mammy is a world fighter, he traveled all around the world to fight people in their own backyard. And uh, you got to give him a lot of credit. A lot of people here in the States do not know him, but he's a great fighter. He fought everybody, and he paid his dues. That's it. That's the end of round six, and we follow 
Manby over to his corner as Bill Prezant rubs a sponge on his head, pours a little water over him. Now let's take another look at Irish Leroy Haley. In his dressing room, he's loosening up. Leroy is his first really defense of the crown, Larry. He's got to be, there's got to be a few blood butterflies in Leroy Haley tonight. Yes, he is. I've seen Leroy get whooped by Willie Rodriguez, and he's uh, he's come back to prove himself, to redeem himself, has got him a new manager and whatnot. He's really been working hard. Monroe Brooks in this corner. He's taking a lot of punishment from uh, Sal Mambi tonight. Coming up to round seven. Don't forget if you're scoring about the 10 point must system here in Cleveland. With the winner of the round 10 points, the loads are proportionally less. Here we go, round seven. Sal Mambi in the blue trunks, Monroe Brooks in the red. All Mabby has to do now, Larry, is to continue to do what he's been doing. Yes, he's they, they in there, Johnny. They traded. I'm sorry for stepping on you. But they, okay. <laughs> these guys are here trading. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think fighters got excited, Larry. <laughs> yes, John. <laughs> we still do. Maybe just laying the two left took that time. <laughs> If Mammy can continue to fight like he's fighting now, John, I don't see no reason why he can't get that title back. Mammy got hit with a good left hook by Monroe. A solid punch, probably the best punch that Monroe's thrown so far in the fight. Landed solid. Good left hook by Mammy. You said, though, Larry, Mammy takes a good punch. Yes. Good, good, good left hook by Mammy. Mark Brooks going away. Yes, it is. Mammy just has to be very, very careful. He can't get careless. Because Brooks is still strong. Brooks has the power to do it. He's a knockout puncher. Mammy's still tearing off, though, uh, Johnny, taking his time, hitting with combinations. But Brooks is still gaining, staying right on top of Sal Mamby, making them fight. I'm amazed at how relaxed Mamby is, Larry, you notice? Yes, he is. Mamby just told him to keep the punches up, and he kind of hit him low. Good punches by Mamby. Good left took by Mamby. Brooks just walks back in there, firing the punches again, landing on Mamby. Brooks is just walking into the punches, John. Have no fear of Saul Mamby's punches. He's just standing there, right? Yes, Taking them as a Mamby throw. Yes. He's probably saying to himself, this guy can't hit. In the meantime, he's getting it's smothered with punches. You cannot win a fight taking punches like this, John. The fight, the punches accumulate and eventually they tell on you. And eventually they let Good right hand by Mamby. Scorecards. He's a completely rejuvenated fighter, Larry. I just don't, uh, I just don't understand it. He's a completely different fighter from what he was in any fight I've ever seen him in. Okay, we're in round eight. Sal Mamby in blue and Monroe Brooks in red. Referee Jackie Keel, John Condon, and Larry Holmes at Public Hall in Cleveland, Ohio, where the main event tonight will be Irish Leroy Haley defending his title against Giovanni Giuseppe Jimenez of Italy. Good left hook by Mamby. He's boxing good, John. He's standing on the outside using a jab, and when uh, Brooks comes in, he smothers his punches. You know, in his last fight with Leroy Haley, uh, Larry, he said that he said, I don't know if I can play, but my corner led me to believe that I was ahead in the fight. And I took it kind of easy in the last few rounds, and I made a horrible mistake. Since then, he's changed the corner quite a bit, I see. Well, that's one of the smartest things he's done. I told him to get rid of that one guy he had a long time ago. Good right hand. 
I told him, get rid of that guy that he had. I didn't think it was that good of a corner. And since he did that, he's really improved. Well, he's got some good men in there now. Bobby Lewis, Bill Present, and Al Smith. <laughs> They're fighting, Johnny. They put on a good show here tonight, right here on DK SPN. SEN. I just, I, I have to disagree with you on the knockout, Larry. I don't think that Mamby is looking for a knockout. I think he just wants to do his job. I don't, I think that he knows that he's really not a knockout puncher and that it's not really possible for him to knock out Brooks, unless he gets a little lucky. But I think he's just, he just wants to, wants to punish him, hit him as often as he can. And he's been doing a pretty good job at it. Right now, Johnny, Mammy just wants to take a breather. He's just sticking the jab, staying on the outside, just to stay ahead in the round. He's not really trying to get in a, a war and trade any punch. He's doing a very good job, very smart. Actually, it's been an easy fight for, for uh, Mammy, hasn't it? Yes, it has. He's not even breathing hard, and he's been here before, and uh, I'd give him all the rounds, John. I would, too. I would, too, all the way. And he's been in complete control all the way through. Brooks is mad. He comes, walks at him, and uh, says, let's go. Let's fight. Well, he's a little mixed <laughs> up in the head right now because he can't do what he wants to do. And what he wants to do is lay that big right hand That's right. on Mamby, and Mamby is just not letting him do it. Monroe throws good left hooks, John, but he wasn't, haven't been able to throw a good left hook on Sal Man. Not heavy punches, but they all landed and they're all point getters. Yeah, Mammy just said, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are fighting, John. I mean, these guys are fighting. Come on, Monroe, come on. Here we go with round nine. Sal Mamby in blue, Monroe Brooks in red. The referee is Jackie Keogh. It's been Sal Mamby all the way, and it's been a pleasure to watch him. Monroe is putting a lot of pressure on Mamby, but Mamby's boxing and sticking the jab, moving on the outside, and tying him up as he come in. Mamby occasionally sneaks one of those uppercuts in there, uh, John. Keep it up, Monroe. Keep it up. Brooks keeps his word and he loses his Good life. Punch We're punch the end of Monroe Brooks' career right here. Unless he gets lucky between now and the end of the 10th round. But he did say that he would retire if he lost this fight because there are no more big money fights for him and he's got other things in mind he could do to make a living. One thing about Monroe Brooks, uh, He's fighting hard, and he shouldn't be ashamed if he loses this fight because he's a good fighter. He's fighting a pro out there. He's not fighting anybody who don't know what they're doing. He's so old man, we can fight. He's put his best effort in it to, to it, Larry, and you That's can't right. ask for more than that. That's right. What Saul Mammy should do now, John, is just stick the jab and get in and out and don't get in any wars because any, anything can happen with the training. That's exactly right, Larry. What he should do right now is have a good time. Jab yes. and move and dance around the ring. He's got the fight sewed up. Just jab and move, box him, and just keep boxing him until the final foul. Look like Sal Mamby is having a good time doing what he's doing, Johnny. <laughs> but he's taking chances and that's getting what, hit. That's what I mean, yeah. Larry. Don't take the gamble. Yeah. Monroe is throwing punches pretty low there, too, Johnny. Well, that's one way of evening his score, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get caught. Brooks just can't get off. He can't get started. He can't get started right from the beginning of the bout. There's nothing that he really wants to do that he's been able to do. Well, one thing about Mamby, he's tying Monroe up. Every time he gets close to it, he throws a few punches, tie him up, and wait for the ref to come in and break it. This is smart, John. Good, good right hand to the body by Monroe that time, John. Mamby got hit with a left hook. This is, this is something he don't want to do. He's getting in a war right now. He's way ahead. Don't take any chances. Good right hand by him. Good left hook by Mamby. Doubled up on that hook. Yes, he did. And 
Good left hook. Good. Well, bro, hurt again, John. Good left hook. Sal Mambi in the blue. Monroe Brooks in the red. Brooks knows what he has to do. He's desperately going to try to do it. And what Mambi should do is just jab and move around the ring. He's all the way home. Mambi just laying another good right here. These guys are going to fight, John. But this, they want to close this show. This Mambi, guy's going to put it on. Mambi shaking his head at him. Like, let's go on. Let's, let's do it. Let's have it. Mamie is cool, John. He's still boxing. He always pours. Good right hand. Good left hook. Good right hand by Sal. Left hook. Two of them. Two left hooks by Mamby, and he stops Monroe Brooks in his tracks every time he does that. Brooks does not get down. As I said before, Mamby's punches are not that heavy. There's a lot of them, but they're not that heavy. I don't know if Mammy's punches is not that heavy or just Bro Monroe Brooks is just that strong. He's taking good punches. I've seen him take punches before. Very determined fighter. Mammy's not known to be a puncher, and this probably the case on with Monroe part. He's not worrying about his punching ability. Well, good, know, good right hand, left hook by Sal Mammy again, John. You know what's going through in Monroe Brooks's head right now? This is it for me. I got to do it. Good left hook. I'm sorry, John. It's okay, Larry. <laughs> like I said, I'm getting excited here. <laughs> Good right hand, left double, left hook by Saul Mamby, John. Every time Brooks thinks he has something going, Mamby comes up with a left hand and a right hand and takes it all away. Yes. If Mamby would have fought Leroy Haley like this, John, he would not have lost the title. No way. No way. It had to be, uh, it had to be something going on in that corner, Larry. Right. He got some bad advice somewhere. Good left took by Mammy. He hollered out a hole that time, Johnny, and he came back with two punches. Good left took on the button by Saul Mammy. Monroe fights back. Brooks got a right hand in there. Good left took, Johnny. Uh, he almost went down from that. Yes, he did, Johnny. Good left hook by Sal. Brooks is hurt, John. Yes, he's he hurt. Yes, he's he just is. fighting on instinct, determination. Manby wants to fight him. He does not want to box him. He doesn't want to play it safe. He wants to win this fight big. He wants to look good and finish strong. 17 seconds to go to, and he's really pouring it on, John. They're really fighting tonight, right here on Don King Sports and Entertainment Network. Good left hook by Saul. Good fight. Mammy looks like he could go 20 rounds tonight. Right? Yeah, Johnny, these yeah. guys are fighting. Fight. And I don't think there's any question in the minds of any of the people that you're looking at right now as to who is the winner of that fight. Johnny, the people are standing up out of, they're out of the seats, and they really enthused, impressed with this fight. I'm impressed. Have a look at that, Larry. Left hook right there, he landed, and Monroe was hurt, and Mammy tried to capitalize on it, but he couldn't capitalize, but great fight, John. Both all fighters. The way, all the way down the line, a great exhibition by Sal Mambi. That's right. And a, a lot of credit goes to Monroe Brooks, too, because he did his best. You can't ask for any more than that. He tried desperately to win the fight by a knockout in the late rounds because he must have known that he was behind in points. Just couldn't do it. Mambi, I think, what the best fight of his, of his whole career. Nice goal, Sal. Kim comes over, shakes hands with Larry Holmes. Good fight. And Monroe Brooks is a disappointed young man as he looks over the... <laughs> Mammy says they gave him their money's worth, and he's right, he certainly did. That's Carl King in the ring, Don King's son. These guys are great fighters, John. They put on a tremendous show here tonight, and uh, I'm just happy. Stay here, Larry. You know, put him over here. Okay. Okay, here is the decision. Decision. And Monroe 
Brooks is not the least bit surprised. Next five will be our main event. Irish Leroy Haley defending his title against Giovanni Giuseppe Jimenez. We talked to both fighters earlier today. First, Jimenez. Very, very friend, American North form. Just so people don't get confused, in Argentina, your native country, you're known as...